Hey and welcome to uh, Ontario Math and today we are going to be hammering out the area, figuring out area for three different polygons, parallelograms, triangles and trapezoids. So I'm going to try to get three knocked off here and uh, I won't be able to talk about each one as much as I'd like to but I want to, I'm going for quantity over uh, quality in this one. So let's just review really quickly. Um, the area of an object is the amount of space that covers something. So because of that we have to measure in units squared or squared units at the end of it. Okay, so uh, we'll get to that in a second. So first of all, let's just look at a parallelogram here. Okay, so here's a parallelogram. Okay, two parallel lines joined by two other parallel lines here. And so a parallelogram has a base and a height, and the height goes from the bottom to the topmost part of the parallelogram, the two parallel lines. We find that by using this formula right here, area of a parallelogram equals base times height. So it's easy, we just multiply the base and the height. So let's try it out. Um, I'll write down the formula area equals base times height. And in this case it equals base is 12 centimeters times the height, which is 5 centimeters, which equals 60 centimeters squared. We need that 2 there, so it's 60 centimeters squared. Uh, the triangle here now. So this diagram's up here because it's just to show you that a triangle is actually just half of a parallelogram. So here's the parallelogram and here's this parallel parallelogram and a triangle is if you go from here to there and you split it in half it's two triangles. So it's almost the exact same formula as a parallelogram. Area equals base times height except we're just going to take half of that, right? So we're going to divide it by two. So base times height divided by 2. So I'll write the formula again first. Area equals base times height divided by 2. I can also show divided by 2 by putting the line over a 2 here. So it equals, let's plop the numbers in, base here. See so here's the base is 15 inches in this case. Multiplied by the height is here to there, the topmost point of the triangle from the base, so 4 inches. And we're going to divide all that by 2. So let's get the top done. 15 times 4 inches, or 15 inches times 4 inches is 60 inches squared now divided by 2, which equals 30 inches squared. Alright, finally uh, we're going to get to the trapezoid. Okay, the trapezoid is a bit different because uh, unlike the parallelogram, well, like the parallelogram, it's four sides, but unlike the parallelogram, two of the sides are not parallel, so we can't use this, this uh, formula. You can see here, this is not parallel to that one, so we need a new formula. So the formula for the trapezoid is a little bit trickier, a little bit longer, but not that bad. Uh, it's base 1, whatever the length is, okay, so one of the sides up here, plus we're going to add the length of this base. So we're adding the two lengths of the parallel sides. We're going to take that and we're just going to multiply it by half of this height. So let's try it out. Area equals, I always write my formulas out um, before I actually solve the problem. So area equals a base 1 plus base 2 times half of the height. Okay, I don't need to actually put the multiply symbol because it's right beside this bracket, so it indicates that we're multiplying, but we are multiplying. So base 1 here is 9 centimeters, plus uh, base 2 is 7 centimeters. And we're going to add those, and then multiply it by half of the height, so the height is 3 centimeters, we're going to multiply it by 1.5 centimeters, which equals 9 plus 7 is 16 centimeters times 1.5 centimeters, which equals 24 centimeters squared. Now I did go through this fairly fast. Uh, take the time to uh, rewind it. Uh, replay it again, and study the formulas, and, and listen to it again. But uh, I did want to get all three out so that uh, it, it is all there for you. And uh, hopefully you can uh, learn the area of these three fine